and then we will uh, move on. So the first thing I want to make sure that we're on the same page is last class period we basically just kind of talked about you know rewriting a polynomial in descending order and uh, identifying the degree and uh, the leading coefficient. Well now what we're going to talk about is applying operations, add, subtract, and multiply. So the important thing when you guys are adding, I should have done this as well, when you guys are adding monomials and or subtracting monomials, you can only add, add or subtract monomials that have variable factors that are exactly the same. All right? So obviously, you guys know how to add 5 plus 7, right? 5 plus 7, that answer is going to be 12. You guys are pretty familiar with this. But one thing I want you guys to understand is, do those actually have the same variable factors? Well, what we talked about last class period is remember, if you don't see a variable, you can always put a variable raised to the 0 power, right? So therefore, in a sense, you have x to the 0 as the same variable. Since they have the same variable power or variable factors, then you can combine them. So for instance, and again, another example is 5x plus 7x. Again, look at what the variables are. Your variables are x and x. The factors of x is just x and 1, right? So since they have the same variable factors, we can combine them. And when we combine them, you are just going to add the coefficients of each monomial um, of each term, which is going to be 5 and 7, which will be 12x. All right. For instance, again, another example, 5x cubed plus 7x cubed. The variable factors for x cubed is x times x times x. They both have the same variable factors. So they're what we're called like terms. Since they're like terms, you, we can add them to give us 12x cubed. All right. Now let's look at some ways that we cannot combine like terms. For instance, 5x cubed plus 7x. The variable factors for x cubed is x times x times x, where the variable factors for x is just x. Therefore, these are not like terms. So to combine them, you cannot. So you just rewrite the expression. It's just, just going to stay as is. The other case that you're going to come across is when you're going to have different variables. All right. Well, again, the variable factors for x squared is x times x, and the variable factors for y squared is y times y. <laughs> so you cannot combine those to a symbol, single term either. You just leave them as they are. Does that make sense? Anybody have any questions? Prego.